Hi and thanks for joining me and in this video we're going to talk about some of the added new features that you're going to see in Google Classroom this fall. Specifically we're going to address some of the features that you'll see that you can use to grade assignments in Google Classroom. Now as we talked about last time you're going to notice uh, some changes in the menus at the top. So when you add questions or announcements they will appear in the stream uh, but your classwork will appear in the classwork menu. And again, you'll notice that items are sorted or clustered by topic. In addition, since the last video we created, uh, the button uh, for creating new assignments has been moved from the bottom right corner to the top left. And no more will you, when having to switch from one screen to another, hit the back arrow up here at the top. They've added a link with the name of your classroom to take you back to the main page. So here in this section on classwork, I've added a couple of assignments and on this first one, I have one submission that's already been turned in. And so to see that, you do have to click on the assignment to see how many are done or not done. But if you click on view assignment, it takes you into the same screen that you're used to. And then if I open this assignment from this student, it will load her assignment. And over on the right, you're going to notice that there's some tools here that we didn't have before. Uh, for instance, I can actually enter grades right here for her. And as you'll notice from the top, when I'm finished grading the student's assignment, I can click on this drop down menu to jump between students and see other students' submissions. While I'm grading, I can still continue to highlight, click to leave comments, and if I want to have a comment bank, there is one up here at the top right. If you click on the comment bank, if you want to add a comment to your bank, just click the plus sign and it gives you a place where you can add multiple comments um, and then when you're ready to use a comment all you have to do is click the comment box and then click the dots copy to clipboard and then paste and so that saves a lot of time in terms of grading uh, you're able to just copy your comments right here you can also enter the grade for the student over here on the right and then leave a private comment if you want to and then you can return directly to the student from here. And so there's no more going back and forth between students from this menu. You could just jump from student to student by navigating back and forth, leaving comments as you go. So hopefully you like these changes. Uh, this is just a few of the changes you'll see coming up uh, later on this month as we start the new school year. Uh, look for more videos and more changes to come to Google Classroom. Thanks for joining me.